and let's rock and roll. <laughs> We're going to move behind our chairs. All right, nice and slow. We're going to start. You can face me. Our feet are hip width apart. Hands on the chair, core tight, shoulders back, chest up, chin up. Close your eyes. You're going to hold this position for 15 seconds. Once you get your bearings, you can raise your hands an inch or so away from the chair. Keep them close to that chair. You want to be safe. Good. Holding. Three, two, one, and time. We were talking about the vestibular system. If you haven't noticed, anytime you close your eyes, the exercise we're doing get, becomes more difficult. All right, so let's move our feet closer together. Really close, as close as you can get them. Bend your knees, belly button to your spine, shoulders back, hand on your chair. Close your eyes. Again, holding this position for 15 seconds. That's it, breathing normal. Once you get your bearings, you can raise your hands an inch or so away from the chair. I want you to stay close. Stay close to that chair with your hands. Good. Three, two, one, and time. Well done. Let's turn and face this way in class for you guys on YouTube and at home online. Let's go on the right side, chair on the right side. So I'm going to adjust that chair to my right side there. I'm going to be standing on my right foot, okay? So find a point in front of you, focus on it. That's your focal point. We're going to shift our weight to our right foot. Bend your knee, remember. Core tight, shoulders back. Let's bring that left foot up into the air. Holding this position for 15 seconds. It's okay to hold on if you need to. I want you to be safe, but I want you to challenge yourself as well. So there's a middle ground you're looking for. Eyes up, chest up, three, two, one, and time. Now we're going to do the very same thing, but this time we're going to close our eyes, okay? So listen to the verbal cues. I'm going to walk you through it. We're going to shift our weight to our right foot. Bring your left heel into the air, just your left heel. I want you to keep the toes of your left foot on the ground, okay? Hand on the chair, close your eyes. Toes are still on the ground, still holding on, get your bearings. If this is hard for you, I want you to stay right here, okay? If you're really fighting to keep your balance, stay right there. If you'd like more of a challenge, you can bring that left foot up into the air. Be safe. Good. Three, two, one, and time. Well done. Let's turn, we're gonna face the opposite direction. Guys at home, I'm going to adjust the camera just a bit. Maybe you can see my feet a little bit better. Okay, chair on the left side this time. Yeah, that's a lot better. Chair on the left side, okay? Finding your focal point. Our eyes are open this first time. We're balancing on our left foot. Eyes are open. So I'm focused on my focal point. I'm going to shift my weight to my left foot, bend my knee, core tight, shoulders back. I'm going to bring my right foot up into the air. Eyes are open, so I'm focused on what's in front of me. I'm going to hold this position for 15 seconds. Good. That's it. Steady. Three, two, one, and time. Well done. All right. Now we're going to close our eyes. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to close our eyes right here, okay? Listen for the verbal cues, same as before. Shift your weight to that left foot, right heel in the air, right heel only. Keep your toes on the ground. Bend that knee, shoulders back, core tight, close your eyes. Hand on the chair, get your bearings. If this is really difficult for you, I want you to stay here. Remember, we're always better on one side than another. If you'd like more of a challenge, let's take that right foot into the air. You don't have to, I want you to be safe. That's it. Three, two, one, and time. Well done. Those are our assessments. We do those every time. If you're not getting better, I need to know. But keep in mind, the first thing I'm going to ask you is, have you been doing your homework? All right? Can't come once a week and expect to improve. This is a fitness class targeted at your balance. Grab a shot of water. All right? We're going to remain standing, okay? So... If you get your water, get ready. We're going to turn. We're going to face this way. We're going to put the chair on the right side. <clears throat> you guys are a lively bunch this morning. Wow. 
It's still early. <laughs> okay. Chair on the right side. We need to work on our leg strength, right? This is our strength pillar. Lucky for you, I have the best worst exercise ever. You're going to love hate this, okay? All right, let me show you what we're going to do. I know all of you are chomping at the bit trying to figure out what it is I have planned. We're going to do a single leg squat, all right? You can do this. All it is is standing on your right foot and you're going to squat down and push up. That's version one. If that's really hard for you, think about all of your body weight. We typically use two feet to handle our body weight. Now I'm asking you to use one. Couple of things we can do, all right? This is the hard version. That's the hard way of doing it, all right? Second version, keep your toes on the ground. So now instead of 100% of my body weight on my right foot, I can modify and manipulate, right? So I could put 20 to 30 to 40, even half of my body weight on that back foot. If you want to keep it on the ground, that's fine, all right? If that's still pretty hard for you, go ahead and keep your feet side by side, all right? Does everyone understand? We're going to turn, chair on the right side. You're going to shift your weight to your right foot. Remember, you can bring your foot in the air or you can leave it on the ground. If you want to try leaving it on the ground first, that's fine. First movement, bottom goes out. Bottom goes out, my back is flat. I'm gonna go down as far as I can, all right? Now, you don't have to go way down, be safe. Going down, and then I'm gonna drive through my heel, coming right back up. Make sure that chest is up, all right? Ready, and two, be careful, be safe, and up. And three, good, and up if you need to hold on. Four, that's it, good. And five, bottom out. Drive through your heel. Get your nose over your toes. And six. Good. Seven. Eight. Last one. Push. Good. Let's flip it around. This is a tough one. This is hard, all right? So if you have to, cut your depth. If you can't go down as far, that's fine. Just go as far as you feel comfortable because you can always increase your depth by the repetition, all right? So don't try to go as deep as you can, all right? Go as far as you can and then maybe next time a little further and so on. Shift your weight to your left foot. <clears throat> right foot in the air or on the ground, ready, bottom out, and we're down. And push through your heel. Two, and drive, that's it. Three, and four, good. Five, try to keep that chest up. You want head up, chest up. Six, stick that bottom out, nose over toes. Seven, last one, and eight. Good, and rest. That was awesome, wasn't it? Look at those smiles. <laughs> Whew. Okay, now I want you in front of your chair for this one. <clears throat> Our feet are gonna be chair leg width apart. Okay, we're gonna keep it simple this morning. We're gonna sit in slow motion. So if you have trouble getting out of your chair, just go down as far as you can and hold. And then as we come up, excuse me, you can join us, all right? Everyone ready? We're going to take four seconds to sit down. <clears throat> Let's begin. Bottom out, we're descending. Four, three, weight is on my heels. Two, bottom touches the chair. One, and we're up. And four, three, two, one. Good, good, perfect. Four. Three, chest up, chin up, two, and one. Good. Avoid, you want to avoid that plop. Ready? <laughs> Four, I know that's hard. Three, nice and soft, two, and one. Perfect. Good, and we're up. Three more. Four, take a break if you need to. Three, two, and one. Good. Imagine you have a headlight in your chest, guys. Illuminate what's in front of you. Four, see how my chest is out? I don't want to be down. Three, Two and one. Last one for good luck. You never know. Four, three, 
two, and one. Rest. Well done. 30 seconds, get a quick shot of water. We're gonna do those again. And I know you must be asking yourself, am I the luckiest person in the world? Yes, you are. <laughs> good, good. All right. As we go through this second round, be mindful of your fatigue, okay? If you're a little tired, that's all right. Skip a rep, don't go as deep, use your back foot. All right, ready? Let's stand back behind our chair again. Good. We're gonna have the chair on the right side, all right? So we're gonna be facing this way in class. YouTube, online, chair on the right side. Okie doke. We're gonna shift our weight to our right foot. Okay, foot is either in the air or it is on the ground. It's your choice, it's your preference. Make it work for you. Ready, bottom goes out and I'm squatting down, pushing through my heel. And two, it's okay to hold on and push. Three, that's it. And remember, try to keep that chest up. Four, well done. Man, that's great. Five, remember, stick that bottom out. There you go, get that nose over your toes. Six, if you're having some knee pain, just stay above the pain. Seven, push, push, push. Last one, and eight. Awesome. All right, let's slow turn. Catch your breath. All right, ready? Shift your weight to your left foot. Right foot either in the air or on the ground. And let's begin. Bottom out, one, drive through that heel. And two. Good. Three. And four. Five. Six. Seven. Push, push, push. And eight. Awesome. Rest. Good, work your way to the front of the chair. <laughs> Good, take your time, not in a hurry. Well done. All right, give you a little time here. I want you to catch your breath. If you need to take a break, take a break. Feet are gonna be chair leg width apart. All right, we're gonna sit in slow motion. All right, when you sit, I want your bottom just to touch the chair, just to lightly tap the chair, all right? Ready, bottom out. We're descending in four, three, two, and one. Drive through your heels. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome. And four, Three, two, and one, and four, good. Three, two, and one. We're gonna do two more. And four, three, two, and one. That's it, last one. Four, three, hang in there, two, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, one, and sit. <laughs> Great job. Big break, big break. That is a very um, intense uh, strength pillar, okay? We're taking our body weight, squatting on one leg, and then we're squatting on both feet. Um, if your legs feel a little fatigued, a little tight, that's normal. But as we move through class, we have to adjust our intensity to continue to get results, okay? If we just do the same things over and over again, we're gonna hit what's called a plateau, all right? So we're trying to avoid that plateau. And one of the things we can do 
is change the intensity. In other words, how hard or how easy an exercise is, all right? Or a pillar in this case. Any questions? Nope. You ready for more? <laughs> we're going to do something else. Yeah, now we're going to work on our posture, all right? Remember that center of mass we were talking about? This is going to help us undo all of that tightness that we do in a day. Side note, also I read uh, in a side article uh, from Harvard Medical School, I just was thumbing through there once that research came across my email, people who sit more are more likely inclined to develop dementia. Who knew, right? Not only that, but you get flatter bottoms. That's true. That happens. The more you sit, the flatter your bum gets. Oh my goodness. Some of us will be sitting all day. <laughs> all right, let's stand. Let's work behind our chair. Good, good. We're going to put the chair on the right side. Chair on the right side, on the right side. <clears throat> let's pump the brakes right here a little bit, okay? Let's get something that's familiar, something that's um, not easy, but something a little less intense, okay? So we're going to start. I want to try to balance myself on one foot. If that's really hard, I'm going to take my heel and touch it to the side of my leg. This is my left foot that I'm, I'm talking about here. If that's difficult, I'm just going to stagger my stance, okay? So you've got one, two, three. You can start at three and work yourself up as you build some familiarity and you get comfortable. All right, now here's the work. My hands are in front of me. My palms are to the sky. So I have my feet set, whichever version I'm choosing. I want you paying attention to your hands, your arms more than your feet. So if that means you need to put both feet on the ground, by all means do that. We're gonna open, push back. All right, I want you to stretch that chest. You're gonna come back together, touching your pinkies. Then you're at a 45 degree angle, pushing back making a V, and then you're down. Pinkies together, and then you're out. Okay, everyone together. Ready, start position, let's go out. Palms to the sky, stretch, don't rush it. Together, and then we're up. Reach, keep that core tight. There you go, good, perfect. And out, push, there you go, and together. And up, making a V. And down. Try not to let that head jut forward. You're out. Push, push. And together. And you're up. Well done. And down. And out. Good. And together. And up. That's it. Touching those pinkies. Perfect. And down. And out. Push. Together. Good. And we're up. Make a V. Two more. Down, out, together, <clears throat> and we're up. Last one. You're down and to the side. We're out and together and then up in that scaption plane. And rest. Good. Stretching the chest, strengthening the posterior side of the body right there, okay? Adding muscle so that it pulls those shoulders back like an anchor. Good. I want you to catch your breath. Give our bodies a chance to recover. Let your heart rate come down a little bit. All right. Any questions? Everyone's good? Okay. Let's take our feet. We're going to go hip width apart. Feet are hip width apart. I want to take my imaginary ball I'm going to hold and I'm gonna reach down. I'm bending more at the waist than I am the knees. Although, I do want you to keep your knees slightly bent, okay? For those of us in class, if you wanna turn this way so you don't hit your head on the chair, we can do that. We can just turn. So we're gonna bend. All right, everyone together, ready? You've got your ball. We're gonna bend and reach for the floor. Keep your back flat, stick your bottom out. And now coming up slow, Mindful of our blood pressure here. If you get lightheaded, we're going to bring our hands up over our head. Now I want you to push back. Try to get your biceps even with your ears. Keeping your core tight. Pulling that belly in. And then you're down. And down. 
If you can get to the floor, great. And up and up. Hands going over the head, reaching and pushing back. Try not to lean back. And down and down. And we're up. Good. Reach, reach. Again, knee slightly bent. And down. That's it. <laughs> And we're up. Reach and push back. Excellent. Three more. We're down. As you go down, you should feel your weight shift to your heels. And as you come up, let's come up. The distribution of your weight is more towards the center of your foot. More even. Two more. We're down. And we're up. Reach and push back. Last one. And we're down. <sighs> and we're up. Reach and push back. And rest. Good. Let's pause here for a second. Grab some water. We're going to take maybe 30 to 60, uh, 60 seconds. So if you need to sit down, go ahead and have a seat. All right, good. I see smoke coming out of some of your ears. Do you have questions or you're just excited to be here on this beautiful Friday morning? <laughs> uh, all right. I know, I've got nothing. Catch your breath. Let's see. Well, I thought I had a good joke saved. I, oh, there it is. There it is. So some of you may not know this. Do we have time? We have time. I used to work for the circus. It's true. I was a human cannonball until they fired me. You get it? <laughs> That's bad. I know. I know. All right. Time's up. You got to wait till the next break to get the next joke. All right. Let's stand. All right. This time, guys, let's turn and we'll put the chair on the left side. <clears throat> we were balancing on our right foot last time we did this. Now we're going to balance on the left foot. Okay. So remember, a couple of different versions here. You've got the hardest version as we're moving our hands or heel to, your, to the side of your leg, right there above your ankle bone, or you're in a stagger stance, split stance, okay? Ready, pick your poison, arms out in front of us. Okay, we're gonna go out to the side. I want you to push back, palms up, coming together. Now we're gonna work in that scaption plane, 45 degree angle, making a V. Don't lean back, push your arms back, and down, and we're out. If you're having a little trouble with your feet, find a position that works for you where you can get a few reps in. And then once you build some familiarity, you can start working through the phases, making it a little harder. Good. And out. Push, push, push. Stretching that chest. And together. And up. And down. And out. Good. And together. And up and down. Good. So we'll go out and in and now up and down. So out and in both and now up. Right. Yes, ma'am. And down. So we'll go out to the side, stretch in your chest and now we'll come in and now we're going to go up above your head. Trying to get your biceps even with your ears. Great. Two more. Push. Don't rush it. I want you to stretch that chest. Good. And now you're up. Last one. Good. I know those arms are burning. Great job. You're, you're doing it right. And up. And rest. Good. Catch your breath. 10, 20 seconds here. 
Very good. All right. <clears throat> Comments from the gallery? Nothing? Next joke. Next joke. <laughs> do you know you do not need a parachute to go skydiving? You don't. But you need one if you're going to go twice. <laughs> These are the jokes. These are the jokes. All right. Feet hip width apart. All right. Guys, if you want, we can turn this way so we don't bonk our head on the chair. We're going to be bending over. Remember, we've got our imaginary ball. We're going to reach to the floor. We're going to come up over our head, okay? All right. Here we go. Let me give you a lateral view. Down. I'm bending my knees, but I want to bend at the waist. That's it. I'm going to come up. All right, if you get lightheaded here, I want you to sit down. Arms are coming up. Now watch, don't lean back, put, just push your arms back. Don't let your head jut forward. And down. That's it. And we're up. And up, good. Sometimes making these big movements like that, bringing our head down and then bringing it up, sometimes that messes with our blood pressure. So if you get lightheaded, that's okay. Just pause for a moment or have a seat. And we're up. Reach and push back. Good. And down. This is four. And we're coming up. Good. And five. Keep that core tight, okay? As we go up, I want you to pull that belly button into your spine. And we're up. Great job. Three more. And up. Push, push. Two more. Feel that weight shift to your heels there. And you're up. Push, push. Last one. Down. Take your time with it. And you're up. Reach and push back. Great job. We've worked our strength. We've worked our posture. Let's have a seat, guys. You're going to get a little break here. Have a seat. Get some water. We're going to move into our, our uh, flexibility uh, pillar. Hmm. So, I have, believe it or not, I have been working on Zoom for the last 10 years. <laughs> I loved it before COVID when everybody found out about it because that's when Zoom started charging me. I was getting it for free. I could get the first hour for free. For four years, I was working. Naples is such a transient town. I had clients coming and going. And when they were here, I'd work in person. And then when they go, I, we would work over Zoom. And... Um, so one time I told a joke over Zoom and uh, no one laughed. <laughs> Turns out I'm not remotely funny. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. All right. No questions. Perfect timing. Okay. I want you to move to the middle of your seat right here, okay? Maybe to the middle, closer to the edge. We're going to take our left foot out in front of us. All right, so go ahead. Sometimes I know some of you may have a chair that messes with the back of your legs, hurts your legs. So go ahead and make the adjustment with your body. Both hands, we're going to slide down that left leg. Okay, slide down and you're going to hold steady. It's okay if your toe's pointing up, guys. It's okay if it's straight. I just don't want it out to the side. I want you to stay in alignment with that leg there. So we're down. Good. And you, you should feel this in... in uh, in the back of your leg, you may feel it in your calf, you may feel it behind your knee, you may even feel it all the way up in your hamstring. As long as you're getting some, some pull back there, you're doing it right. Three, two, one, coming up. Again, same thing, both hands going down. Try to reach a little further this time. See if you can get just a little bit further. Three, two, and one. Well done. Let's rotate. We'll take that right foot out. Both hands going down that right leg. 
All right, for those of you that watch TV, this is a good exercise to do, a good stretch to do as you're watching or during the commercial break. Seems like now we're getting more commercial breaks than ever. Three, two, one, coming up. And again, one more time going down. Hold steady. Three, two, and one. Well done. Now we're going to scoot maybe still in the middle of our chair. All right. We're going to take both hands. We're going to reach to the ground. Okay. Similar to what we did when we were standing. We're just sitting this time. As I go down to the ground, I want you to try to touch the ground and then work your hands back under the chair. Okay. So we're down. Our legs are chair. I'm sorry. Your legs are chair leg width apart. Okay. We're going to go down. And now I'm going to start working my hands back under my chair. There you go. Good. Now I'm coming up. I'm interlocking my fingers, turning my palms to my sky, to the sky. I'm going to raise those hands up again, trying to get my biceps even with my ears. So I'm going to push back, not allowing my back to hit the back of the chair. Okay. Keeping the core tight. And we're down and down. Really reach back there. And up. If you get lightheaded, just stop for a second. Arms coming up. Push, push, push. Try not to let your head jut forward. That's it. And down. Holding steady. And we're up. Reach and push back. Good. Good. Looks like we have some great mobility there in our shoulders. That's awesome. Last time, we're down. <sighs> Reaching back under that chair. And we're up. Palms to the sky, reach and push back. Push back, push back. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, I'm gonna turn my chair around, guys. We're gonna stretch our neck. It just makes it easier to explain. So I want you to sit back in your chair. Okay, <laughs> sit back in your chair. Don't allow your back to hit the back of the chair, okay? I want you to have some space there. You're going to take your left hand and hold under the chair. Right hand is going across my stomach, okay? So left hand holding, right hand across. Now I'm going to lean and look to the right. Lean and look to the right. So I'm going to have a big stretch here. And I'm going to look up and down. I'm going to do a bit of exploring. I'm going to find where I feel that stretch the most, and I'm going to stop and hold that. Hold steady. Good. Three, two, one, and rest. Now let's just flip that around and go the opposite direction. Right hand holding, left hand across your stomach. We're going to lean and look to the left now. Good. Do a bit of exploring. Looking up, looking down. <clears throat> Three, two, and one. And relax. Good. Any questions? Nope, get you a shot of water. We're going to move into our balance pillar, all right? All right. A little bit of a break. How are we feeling? 
Tired, fatigued, feeling okay? Good. Michelle says good. With holding all the above. <laughs> feeling good, but tired, fatigued, good. Pa enduring. <laughs> Uh, pace of the class, guys. You comfortable with the pace? Okay. All right. A few more seconds here. Okie doke. The neck. So what you're doing with the neck is you're just using that hand to try to keep you from falling out of the chair. And then by turning, what you're doing. You need to turn your head? Yes, ma'am. Oh, maybe that's what I'm not doing. Yeah. And then if you're not feeling that, if you're not feeling it in the neck, there could be a chance um, that you're just flexible, right? Your neck is moving in its, in its range of motion that it was designed to move through. For someone like me, for example, who's looking down all day, I'm looking at people's knees, their feet. That's hard for me. I really have to work to get my head around because of the, of the positioning that my head is in all day. It just creates a lot of tightness. It's like if I sit a lot, over time, it becomes increasingly difficult for me to reach down and touch my toes unless, unless I work on doing that daily. You try to undo everything that's happening to you during the day. So for example, all of us, <clears throat> all of us sit and watch TV, right? Or the vast majority of us, safe to say. What's that? Oh, right, 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 right. But, but what happens is, when we're watching TV, our shoulders come forward. When we're looking on our phones, our shoulders come forward. When we drive, our shoulders come forward. Some of us drive like this, some of us drive like this. You know, it just depends on what you're doing. So what we need to do by doing this exercise here, give you, give you a real class example, we're undoing all of that because if we don't, we're restoring elasticity to the muscles in that area. If we do not do that, if we do not do any work to undo all that tightness that's occurring, what ends up happening is it's going to continue to pull my shoulders forward, pull my, my shoulders forward. In some cases, a lot of other things are happening. I'm not saying this is the only cause. You get kyphosis. You know, guys, and kyphosis is that really big hunt, hunch on the back, on the top of the back. So there's a lot going on than just tight muscles, okay? I don't want to say that that's the sole cause, but by opening this up, we're restoring elasticity, we're giving the diaphragm, the lungs more room, right? We're undoing and improving our posture. So, and then the neck stretch just go alongs with all of that stretching we're doing in the front. So let's have you stand and we're gonna go behind our chairs. We're gonna put the chair on the right side. The chair on the right side. For those of us in class, yeah, we're facing that way. YouTube, online, chair on the right. Let's keep it simple. First thing I want to do is just an easy peasy leg lateral, okay? If you're really good, feel comfortable and confident, try to keep your foot in the air as you move it out and move it in. If you need to take a touch when you bring it in to maintain efficiency, that's fine. It's okay to hold on. Here's a little tip. Move that chair close to your hip. Have it touch your hip. Sometimes that helps a little bit. It'll give your body a little bit of awareness of where you are in space and time, okay? Find your focal point. You're gonna shift that weight to your right foot. Bend your knee, core tight, shoulders back, left foot in the air, ready, and let's begin. We're out and in. Good, don't have to have a big movement. Six inches is a plenty. This is three. We're gonna go to 15 and four and five, six, and seven, eight, nine, good, 10, 11, and 12, 13, keep those eyes up if you can, 14, and 15, great job. Let's turn, we'll face the other direction. Same thing, same verbal cues. We're gonna shift our weight to our left foot. Bring that right foot up into the air, bend your knee, core tight, shoulders back, and let's begin. One, and two, 
three, trying to keep those eyes up if you can, four, and five, six, seven, and eight, nine, 10, 11, that's it, and 12, 13, good, 14, and 15. Awesome. Slow turn back to the right. We're going to do a two-point touch, but we're not crossing the midline today. We're going to just simply touch in front and touch in back. Now notice, I don't have a great big touch. I don't want to lean back. When I reach back, I don't want to lean forward. I want to have a nice neutral spine and just give me a tap in front and a tap in back. And I'm not even crossing over, guys. I'm staying on the left side. I'm not crossing the midline at all. Here's a tip, really important. Don't transfer weight. So when you touch, I don't want to have any transference of weight right there, okay? Imagine that it's an eggshell in front and an eggshell in back that you're having to tap, okay? So find your focal point. <laughs> Let's shift your, your weight to your right foot. Bend your knee, core tight, shoulders back, and let's begin. We're going to tap in the front, pause, and then tap in the back. I want to avoid momentum. And two and tap, and three, that's it, and four. Try to keep your eyes up if you can, five, and six, good, seven, core tight, eight, gonna go to 12, nine, 10, 11 and 12. Rest. Okay, let's turn. <clears throat> Same thing. Shoulders back, chest up, chin up, belly button to our spine. Let's shift our weight to our left foot, bend the knee, and let's start in the front and now to the back. And this is two, just a light little tap. Don't transfer any weight. Three, keeping those eyes up. Four, it's okay to hold on if you need to. Good. This is six, good. Seven. And eight. Nine. Ten. 11, nice little tap, and 12. Good, rest. Feel that lower leg burning? Good, that's a good indicator that you're right on it. If you don't feel that lower leg burning, that could mean you're holding on too much, you're not challenging yourself, or uh, you could be in a position where, you know, maybe you're just strong and the, the exercise is just not challenging enough. So that's a good thing. All right, let's work our way back to the right side. Okay, a little more difficult right here. I'm going to start with my hip inflection and my knee inflection. I am not going to move this system right here. My upper leg, lower leg, I'm not going to move my leg. It's going to stay locked in this position. What I want you to do is imagine you have a flashlight on taped to the top of your leg. I want you to shine the light in front, then we're going to shine the light to the ground. So notice, I have no lengthening or shortening of the lower leg. It's going to stay in the same position, and I'm just going to move from front, or move down, and move up, just like that. All right? So chair on the right side. All right, remember, it helps if you smile. Bend your knee. Ready, leg up. Okay, let's bring that thigh up. And now down and two, good, and three, that's it, and four, five, six, seven, 
Last one and eight and rest. Good, good. Building that hip strength, guys, stabilizing those hips. Let's rotate. Core tight, nice and tall. Let's bring that right leg up this time. Ready, and we're down. And you're up. And two, and up, good. Three, that's it. And four, try to keep those eyes up if you can. And five, and six, Two more, seven, and eight. Well done. Now we've come to the part of the class you all have been waiting for, the end. <laughs> but before we do that, we're gonna balance on our right and our left foot for 60 seconds. Complete this task and you're done for the day, okay? We're gonna enjoy your weekend. So let's uh, grab a shot of water if you need it quickly. We're gonna move the chair to the right side. <sighs> I want you to take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. <sighs> Clear your mind. I want you to focus. Okay, find your focal point. You're gonna shift your weight to your right foot, core tight, bend that knee, the right knee, chest up, chin up. Let's bring that left foot up into the air. Time begins now. Standing on my right foot for 60 seconds. Good, keeping that right foot in the air. Good. Trying to keep those eyes up. It's okay to hold on if you need to. 20 seconds have passed. If you're having a little pain, you can do 10 seconds at a time. Take five seconds off or five seconds on, five seconds off. 30 seconds. Forty. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Excellent. Now let's rotate. Go into the other side. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. All right. Let's shift your weight to the left foot. Bend your left knee. Core tight. Shoulders back. Right foot in the air. Time begins now. 60 seconds balancing on our left foot. Trying to keep your eyes up if you can. Twenty seconds. Thirty. Forty. Almost there. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Well done. Let's talk homework. Sit in slow motion. All right, so that's four, three, Two, one, every time you sit down in your house, I want you to do that, okay? Go in slow motion. If you're doing it uh, for a set, guys, try to do at least five. If you can do 10, that's even better. Do it in the morning and the evening. Balance-wise, let's do our two-point tap. Touch in the front, touch in the back. Just remember, don't transfer weight. You guys, we have Balance University available at mybalanceuniversity.com. We also have them here in class. They make great Valentine's Day gifts. You guys have a great weekend. Remember your homework. Remember the YouTube channel, right? We got our fall, our fall prevention homework series there too, all right? It's under Emeritus Health. Have a great weekend and make somebody smile. Good job.
Root for the Lions. <laughs> All right. Take care. Good job. <laughs>